Yeah, the book is targeted towards uh, all home brewers and you know some craft beer commercial craft beer brewers I think can benefit from it as well. It's uh, got a real practical hands-on approach. The majority of yeast books out there all are much more scientific and much more um, not that this isn't scientific, but much more uh, about the theory of yeast intercell workings and um, you know very um, esoteric stuff that the the brewer it could be nice to know but it isn't really going to affect the way that they daily operate and brewers have a lot of questions I get a lot of questions and Chris gets a lot of questions about you know how do I harvest my yeast how do I rinse my yeast how do I measure my yeast how do I um, you know choose a yeast you know what affects flavors um, from fermentation what you know warmer does what pitching rate does what you know all these things and what flavors do they affect you know how do you get a beer to fully attenuate how do you attenuate a, a high gravity beer how do you um, you know people want to know plates and slants and storing yeast and growing up yeast and um, so all that's covered we actually have a lab section uh, making your own lab, which everybody can benefit from. I know a lot of people are scared of that sort of thing. They, they don't want to be buying a clean room and microscopes, but um, this one has a lot of good stuff you can do in there with real simple equipment, you know, like a forced ferment test to see how far your wort's going to attenuate. Because otherwise people say, oh, my beer didn't attenuate enough. I'm like, well, did you do a forced ferment test? I'll tell you whether it did or didn't, whether it's a recipe problem or a yeast problem. So things like that. It's a lot of practical hands-on advice. There is a little bit of bio, yeast biology in there and, and history, but not so much that it becomes overwhelming. It's a little more um, easy to consume and get you into that, that aspect of yeast as well.